There's some people talking in the philosophical realm about the big picture, the whole game. And you're talking about drama between two pawns. In the whole game context, what's the net effect on the quality of existences? Take all the existing things, all the consciousness, and just add up. Is this thing a cloud on them? Is this thing a blight that spreads over them? Or is this something that enhances all of them? Does it make them more powerful and more actualized? Does it take away more of their suffering net? Or does it make them more miserable, more incompetent, more incapable, more ineffective, and more inefficient? Does it make them more productive? Does it give them more choices? These are the questions to answer, and the philosophical answer is this crap, this pop culture crap, is toxic waste. It might as well be barrels of dioxin. It is a fucking catastrophe for the human race. This is why it's so important to see these larger collectives as, as representatives. When you're intelligent, you realize I'm just a pawn. I'm not special pawn. I'm just pawn. And all the other pawns are just as valuable as I am in basic function. They're all feeling entities. There's no reason for my intelligence to work for the benefit of this one pawn. There's no rational reason for my intelligence to make a distinction between the welfare of this pawn and the welfare of the pawn next to the nuclear power plant. There's no reason to make a distinction. I should think of that pawn as me. I should understand it as me. I should understand everything that is manipulated and perverted and distorted and abused as me. Because there's nothing different about the thing having the circumstance. What is the game about? Is the game producing anything that the human race should be proud of? Is there anything for a non-nation to be proud of? Is there anything for something other than a psychotic ego to see as valuable produced by this stupid ritual?